Good morning, everybody. My name is Cameron Johnson. My name is Abdul Alfi. And my name is Ati Alfi. And our project pertains to the design, fabrication, and characterization of multi-layer thin film solid state batteries. So a little bit about our project. Um, thermoelectric material is generated, uh, generates electricity from temperature gradients. So thin film batteries, which are also solid state batteries, are comprised of an anode, cathode, and electrolyte layer. Um, the main difference between these batteries and the batteries that you might buy in the store, use one time and then dispose of, is that they lack the electrolyte solution um, in the batteries, which could possibly be corrosive. Um, and they're made of, they're entirely made of solid state thin film, like thermoelectric material. Um, below in figure one, we have a geometric composition of the multiple layers that we uh, deposit on our uh, substrate material, which we'll talk more about later on in the project. And then we've also listed important parametrics that we will be uh, measuring and keeping track of throughout our project, uh, which includes the CBET coefficient, electrical conductivity, temperature, and thermal conductivity, as well as other uh, miscellaneous measurements that we might need, such as IV characteristics characteristics, impedance, um, mobility density, and so on. Okay, to start our experiment, our main component is the substrate as shown in figure two, which is silicon dioxide. To start our deposition, we will use the PVD75 machine, which, is, uh, which stands for physical vapor deposition. Um, as shown in figure three, we have two guns on the right, the DC and the RF. The DC stands for the direct current, and the RF stands for radio frequency. We will use the metals and the submetals for the DC or in the DC, and we will use the metals, submetals, and the insulators in the radio frequency, the RF. So for our deposition process, uh, the first layer we deposited was copper aluminum, which is the copper collector. Uh, and then we did uh, the masking because we don't want to deposit the next layers. Uh, through all the surface, on all the surface. For the second layer, we did uh, the cathode, which is lithium cobalt oxide. And the third layer, uh, which is the buffer layer, which is uh, lithium phosphate. This layer acts as an insulator. And then for the next layer, we deposited aluminum oxide. And this layer acts as a protection for the anode and the cathode. As shown in se uh, figure 7A and 7B, this is after the, uh, the deposition. Uh, of cathode, buffer layer, and aluminum oxide. And next, uh, we're gonna deposit uh, the anode. For the anode, we're gonna do two sets to uh, test the efficiency of the battery. For the first set, we're gonna use silicon and silicon tin. And uh, for the second set, we're gonna use germanium and germanium tin. After we deposit the anode, we're gonna deposit the current collector, and then we're gonna test the batteries at different temperatures. Uh, we started our project uh, on January 24, uh, and hopefully by next STEM day, we're gonna have uh, we, uh, we're gonna complete our project, and we're gonna have more data to share. Thank you.